Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive, and you guys, episode 6 of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Mono Bug Egglock. You guys have been turning up on this series, and if you are a big fan of the bug types, of the bug egglock, of your homie A Drive here, I want you guys to turn up on that like button right now. Hit that like button for me. Really does help out the channel, really supports the A Drive army, and you know we're gonna keep rocking, we're gonna keep it cruising. Now, before we get any further, of course, the annotation for the last episode is on the screen or in the description below. Do not forget that if you have missed it, and our question of the day today which I truthfully had to think long and hard about and I didn't actually start this recording until I decided what my answer was because I really wanted to think about it as we enter Granite Cave here if you could pick any Pokemon to start your journey with who would you pick now I feel like this is a quite a tough question right so uh, the reason why it's a tough question is because I'm not just limiting this to your typical you know Bulbasaur Charmander Squirtle you know Trico whatever else I'm saying you could pick any Pokemon to start with within the bounds of reality right so I mean you're obviously not gonna start your journey off with a the Tyranitar, but you can start your journey off with something like, I don't know, like a Pawniard maybe, right? If you if you, if you you have a hookup, someone who could get a Pawniard, right? So our first encounter is going to be the Makuhito. We are going to catch that and swap that for an egg. Uh, let me just pull up my egg, my egg screen here so I have all my eggs up in front of me. We're going to try to catch this thing and let's, let's hit it with a, I feel like a Psybeam will not kill it, but let's go with the, uh, let's go with the Sleep. I don't I feel like a side beam is not gonna kill Makuhita. I really don't so let's go for the side beam I don't think it's gonna kill. It's not stab. Oh, okay I guess we're not getting an encounter for this because I'm an idiot, and I just killed the Makuhita my bad Anywho our question of the day So like I said, I thought long and hard about this and I decided that if I had to pick just one Pokemon You know, it's gonna be a bug type Pokemon. There's no doubt about that right I have I have to pick a bug type It is my favorite type as you run into a wild Abra here I'm gonna say the Pokemon that I'm gonna pick is actually very very it's actually kind of convenient that on the last episode we got it spoilers, but what did he just do? He just teleported out of there um, It would actually be a Yanma So I looked through all the bug Pokemon and like the lower forms of bug Pokemon And I decided that a Yanma is where I'd want to start with I'd want to start with Yanma It evolves into a really cool Pokemon Yanmega, and it's just super super epic So that's what I would pick I would pick Yanma So hopefully you guys have a cool answer in the comment section below. What Pokemon would you start your journey with? Um, most trainers typically stick to one type in most cases, or a lot of trainers do, and all the gym leaders and stuff do. So kind of take that into consideration, you know, in your decision. But I'm curious what you guys want to say. So make sure you leave a comment, because I'm curious what Pokemon you guys just want to start your journey with. So anyway, we're going to bust into some dialogue here with Mr. Steven Stone. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So in the ancient world, their primal, fo primal forms once held this much power. The super ancient Pokemon. What terrible strength. But this appearance here. It seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. Hmm. It seems my questions will not be answered today. Hmm. You are? Ah, I see. It's a pleasure, bug catcher. My apologies. My name is Steven. I am interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Today, my journey brought me, I forgot the, I just hit the button, oops. A letter for me? Oops. Bucketcher gave Steven the letter he had with the entrusted with. Why, thank you. It must have been some trouble for you to track me down. I suppose I must repay you in some way. Let me see. Ah, I will give you this TM. Please accept it. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Hey, I think maybe, maybe Redemption can learn that. Hmm. If you don't mind me asking, do you feel anything in particular when you look up at this wall? A primal world lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Yes. But not all power is terrible. Your Pokemon are clearly quite capable as well. Looking at you all together. I think that you have what it takes to become a Pokemon League Champion. As long as you keep training, that is. Good luck to you. I must be going now. Alright, so Mr. Stone just hooked us up with Steel Wing. I don't know if Redemption could learn it. But let's double check because if it could, it'd be sick. It'd be sick. Uh, looks like Redemption can actually learn Steel Wing. So let's teach a Steel Wing because it's not a bad move. And Steel type isn't that bad. Uh, it'll help us out because none of our Pokemon really want to take on Fairy types anyway. So let's give him Steel Wing. We'll get rid of, um, 
I kind of like the focus energy night slash combo, but I'm thinking we're gonna get rid of focus energy for steel wing just to have something that hits pretty hard. So let's do that. I was gonna swap that. So anyway, kind of going back to our topic about the Pokemon journey. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, if I could start my Pokemon journey, you know, what Pokemon would I choose? And that's why I said Yanma. That would be my first pick. Um, I could just. It would be so cool to be like a little a little kid and just have this little this little dragonfly thing that just flies around and it's really really cool, really fast, cool special attacker. Uh, I could see like I kind of like, try to picture myself in the anime or in like the TV show and I just feel like it'd be so epic to have a little Pokemon like a Yanma or something like that especially considering how powerful Yanmega is once it evolves you know what I mean so uh, Yanma is really cool so especially shiny Yanma that blue is amazing so uh, I'm a big fan that would be my pick but if I had to pick any universe to be in too because that's kind of a tough question right what Pokemon universe would I want to be in I'm sure uh, I've actually gotten that question quite a few times and I would probably say I'd want to go to the Kalos region so uh, the reason for saying I wanted to go to the Kalos region, we're going to head to Slateport. Thank you, Mr. Briny. Um, Slateport City, is it? Anchors away! Pico! We're settling sail, my darling! So we're going to head with Mr. Briny over to Slateport City here. And uh, like I said, so I would probably pick the Kalos region, which is where X and Y is based. And my reasoning for that is I understand from a graphical perspective, right? The game is just beautiful in Kalos. But I just felt like the Kalos diversity was amazing. So many cool routes. The fact that it's broken out into different, like, territories. Like, you got the mountainous region, the plains region, and whatever else. I always just felt that was so cool. I always really liked Kalos. And X and Y is probably my favorite game to date. Even though, considering the fact that I am... Your typical Gen 1 or right, I played Red and Blue when they first came out and have always played Pokemon my whole life or whatever. But something about X and Y to me was very special. Not only did it bring me back into Pokemon more than I had ever been, like I was more involved in Pokemon now than ever before and that is because of X and Y, uh, which was my first Pokemon game I ever streamed and stuff like that. But I just felt like the, the world is so beautiful. They did such a great job of incorporating a lot of the Gen 1 mechanics and Gen 1 themes like... Uh, uh, what is it called? Santa Loon Forest is based off of uh, Viridian Forest and, and things like that. Having the Snorlax in the middle of the road. Uh, it's just awesome. There's an icy part of the country, like the continent, uh, which is really, or not continent, but the country or whatever. Um, you have like where you could ride the Mammoth Swine. It's just, it's a very like, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like the, there's very diverse biomes, I guess you could say. Very, It's a very diverse, uh, you know, setting. There's so many cool things going on. In Kalos, so that's kind of where my decision comes. I'm also curious, you know, where you guys would start your journey. But of course, I've thought about it as an, as as a YouTuber. Like, I have this ability to make videos and really put out cool content. And one of the series I actually was just talking about today, with you know, this is kind of breaking down that wall of of you know what I'm talking, what I'm supposed to be talking about, and not. But I've always wanted to do a series as a gym leader, uh, taking on challenges and stuff like that. It'd be really, really cool. A lot of fun. This thing confuses everything. I have no idea why. This fa I feel like my Psybeam confusion rate is like 50% right now. Um, but I always wanted to do a series where I like acted as a gym leader. And if you don't know from the, the manga, I believe it's called. I think that's what the term is. The manga, comic books, whatever it is. Uh, the way the gym leaders work and the way it should have worked in the anime as well is based on how many badges you have in the league, that's what Pokemon the gym leader brings. So that's why, like, if you have zero badges or if you have one badge or whatever, obviously the gym leader is not going to bring the hardest Pokemon they have against you. But if you have eight badges and you're taking on Brock, then Brock is going to bring a lot better Pokemon. Or seven badges and you're taking on Brock, it's bringing on a lot better, better Pokemon, which makes the whole universe make a lot more sense, right? And the gym leaders are there to, you know, kind of govern over the city and make sure it's safe and whatever else because they have the strongest Pokemon of their respective type. And that's my understanding. I, don't, I haven't read the comics or anything like that, but that's the synopsis I've gained from other people and reading the internet or whatever, right? So I always thought it'd be really cool to uh, create some sort of a series. And maybe you guys can help me with this idea. I'm always down. I always read the comments, guys. So it's worth your time to post a comment, trust me. And I always read Twitter and stuff like that too. But I've always wanted to do a series where I act on YouTube as a gym leader where I take on people and based on how many badges they have um, I send out different Pokemon so if you have no badges I would send out my Yanma and I would send out like you know uh, let me think I would send out Yanma maybe like a cricket tune or something or yeah, yeah that's like pretty fair right but if you have like three badges then my team is not gonna be like that anymore it's gonna be like okay I'm rocking you know a Butterfree and I'm rocking you know a Pinaco and I'm rocking you know, a Scyther or something like that, right? A little bit more challenging team. You have eight badges, and I'm bringing the heat. I'm bringing my Volcarona. I'm bringing, you know, whatever it is. And I, I always thought that would be such a cool series. But I've never really had a, a way to do it and make it still competitive, right? Because if I take battles from my viewers, take battles from people just on Twitter or Twitch or whatever it is, 
they could just bring, you know, a team that would just decimate me every time. Because they, they know I'm going to only bring bug types, right? So there's not really a huge advantage there. Or there's not really a huge opportunity for a competitive setting. And I don't know how I could, like, limit people to say, okay, like, you can't bring a Gudra if you're taking on the first gym. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I've always wanted to try to come up with a way to go about that a little better. So if you have any ideas on how I could format a series for that, that'd be absolutely crazy. That'd be so fun. Um, I've always wanted to do, like, a gym leader series where... I take on people that way and and maybe it'll happen maybe it won't uh, one of my folk one of my things that I really wanted to do on YouTube was to do this mono bug playthrough which we're finally doing we're actually doing it I'm actually in in the middle of it and I've always was worried that people wouldn't want to watch it because I figured not everyone was gonna like bug types like I do or they might not like the fact that I'm, I'm only using bug types or whatever it is but so far you guys have been turning up every episode which is really really cool um, I don't want to just play with bug types I like using Pokemon of all types but um, I don't know, I've always just liked bug types. I think they're cool. Like, even looking at Vinny right now. Vinny's just putting in that work right now. Like, look at how cute Vinny is. All right, now is our time. We're going to send out Redemption. And this is where things get epic, because I'm about to bust out the Steel Wing right now. Just to show you guys the pure power of Steel Wing. Just watch. Just watch Steel Wing put in the work right now. Here we go. Steel Wing. Boom. Bam. Goodbye, Zero. Goodbye. Vita Zane. Riva Dirty. That's gonna be it. But I'm sure so many of you guys have have dreamt or daydreamed. I, I would I feel like for me it's more of a daydream. Uh, I mean I like my life. I like the world that I live in. Um, but how cool would it be to have started off your journey with a Pokemon, guys? I mean let's just let's just dream for a moment together. We could just dream together how cool it would have been. And I know there's everyone who's going to be like, Oh, but if you did that, then, you know, there would be breaking down the cities and there would be destruction. But that's why the gym leaders are there, right? They're supposed to, like, protect the city with their Pokemon and whatever else. And the legendary Pokemon are, like, are more myths than anything. It's not like you could just walk up and, and challenge a Kyogre. Like, you're risking your life to get there, you know what I mean? Like, to me, that is just, that is sick. I don't really, can't really touch a Sableye, so we're going to have to switch out. Um, let's go into, who wants to take on Sableye? I'm feeling like Hendrix wants to take on Sableye. Let's do that. Because it is Guts Hendrix. Guts Hendrix is beast. Let's see what he's got here. We're going to go to Hendrix here. He's going to go for Detect. That's fine. Let's fire off a big Megahorn right now. See how much this does. Boom! I wish Megahorn had a cooler animation. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, he Megahorn is like the best bug attacking move. And it's, it's like kind of a lame animation. He just like... Sends out a horn at the guy. That's lame. They could have done something cool. Like, a move like Aerial Ace has such a cool animation. Like, tell me this isn't... Bam! That was thumbnail last episode, too. That was thumbnail last episode. So, anyway, I would start my journey with a Yanma. I would start in the Kalos region. And I would. it would be cool to take on Viola, the first gym leader. But it doesn't really matter, you know, which one you take on first. But that'd be cool, because she's obviously the bug gym leader. Tons of bug Pokemon in, in the X and Y region in Kalos. Uh, especially towards the early game. Uh, you can get Pokemon in the beginning, like, uh, what is it, uh, Scatterbug, and Caterpie, and Weedle, and Burmy, and Combi, and all that stuff. So many cool bug Pokemon at the beginning, uh, which to me is thumbs up to that. That's really cool. Right, so I'm going to set out Vinny here again, another Dark type, so I can't actually hit this thing. I'm going to have to swap. Let's get some action for True Warrior. Hasn't even seen any action in a while, but let's go to Hendrix here. Trying to get Hendrix leveled though. I want to try to keep my team as evenly leveled as possible. You'll see I'm not really using Invincibug. And the reason for not using Invincibug, just to clarify, is because the thing about Shedinja is it's not going to matter what level Shedinja is. It really isn't going to matter whether it's level 15 or whether it's level 100. It's going to die to one hit. So, realistically, there's not really much of a point in leveling up Invincibug. Um, it's going to be there. If the opponent can hit me, he's going to die. If the opponent can't hit me, he's not going to die. So my hope is to get him to a Shedinja and, and actually be successful with it. Because uh, there are some situations where it could be very, very useful. It's just about finding those trainers where it can be useful. So we're going to fire him. This is going to destroy this Caravan's life. Goodbye. I'm going to take Rough Skin, though. Which is kind of scary, but not a huge deal. Down goes the Caravana, which is really scary. I've actually, um, I've actually lost Pokemon in this shack before. On Nuzlocke, it's not it's not actually that easy because Sableye is kind of weird to take on, um, especially early game and, and so on and so forth. So let's take on this girl here, I'm trying to get my soda pops, yo. I'm just trying to grab some soda pops here and, and make things work. So Beauty Johanna's got a Gold Dean, but I think we're okay with just Venonat. I know this thing might actually have the move Peck, but that's okay. I'm not too stressed about Peck. I could probably hit it with a Sleep Powder, or we could just go for the Psy Beam, just to see how much a Psy Beam is gonna do. Um, it's gonna do eh, about a. 
third. He's gonna go for horn attack. We might actually have to switch. We'll see how much this does. No, we could definitely take a peck then, because that didn't do anything. Peck is only gonna, peck is gonna do about the same thing as horn attack, so. Um, that's close to a 3 AK. He's gonna go for water spout. Very interesting. We gotta get some better moves on, on Vinny here. I love Vinny though. This is the first time I've ever used a Venonat on a playthrough. And I really, really like it. And Shiny Venonat looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. He's gonna just keep water sporting. I don't know what he's trying to do here. He's kind of wasting the time. My bad if you guys hear any noise in the background. Some dogs barking or whatever. I can't really control whether dogs bark or not, so. Beauty Joanna goes down. That's one thing I want for future Pokemon games, now that I'm thinking about it, is like, just the trainer classes or whatever. There's no, uh, I wish you could change your trainer class in the game. You know, X and Y took a huge step forward in trainer customization. That is really cool, I'm all about that. But I want to be able to, like, actually customize how my po my guy looks. I was trying to figure out a way to make it so I could play as a bug catcher in this game. Um, I know there's a couple people like Sleepy Jirachi and stuff who have, you know, found hacks to the game and found a way to hack the game or whatever else. And I know this one kid, I think his name's Just a Bomb or something like that. He was doing some custom stuff where he was like making custom trainer sprites and stuff in the game. And I was trying to, to actually commission them. I was going to pay for it to have someone actually make it for me and allow me to play through the game as a bug catcher. But no one seemed to one, know how to do it or two, want to do it. Which is kind of a bummer. I would have loved to play through this game as the actually bug catcher sprite, but I guess it's not as easy as I'm making it sound. Uh, but it would have been cool. I don't see why you can't if you can hack the game to make it randomized. Like I think Tyranitar Tube is doing like some crazy randomizer where he's like flying around on slack alts or something. I have no idea. I haven't personally watched it, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it. Apparently, it's pretty epic. Um, but I don't see why I couldn't make my guy a, a bug catcher. You know what I'm saying? How hard could it be? I don't know. Not in my realm of knowledge, uh, but it's something I want to do at some point. I think it'd be really cool. So, it's got a level 13 tentacle. I feel like I could just side beam this thing. Uh, cause it's not gonna kill me in one hit. Unless he gets like a super crit with sludge wave or something, which he probably doesn't even have. There's the constrict. We t oh, th that did nothing. Vinny is, is just wiping kids out right now. I love the fact that he's super, uh, he's compound eyes super, like, compound eyes supersonic. It's sick, cause then it actually hits, you know? Actually it hits once in a while. I can use it. Amethyst grown to level 16, not bad. We just have to keep a close eye out on Invincibug's level too. Uh, as a lot of people mentioned, I do have to have a free spot in my party for him to evolve into Shedinja, so I do have to be careful with that. So I'll be I'll be careful. I'll be keeping keeping my eye out for his level. And eventually we're gonna we're gonna drop off a Pokemon in the PC just so we can get the evolution. And then obviously Ninjask will take a seat and we'll just rock with the Shedinja. So that's the plan skis. Which I will have to nickname him too, we're actually near the nicknamer. Maybe I'll try to get him some levels now. Vinny wants to learn Leech Slave. Unfortunately, bug moves on Vinny. Not gonna be too good, and Leech Slave is really bad, so. Hendrix goes to level 15, not bad. We're cruising, I think that's everything we need for the Soda Pops. Um, let's see here. I, d I thought I defeated all the trainers, what trainer didn't I? Oh, there we go, okay. I was like, why aren't you giving me the Soda Pops, dude? I think that's all we have to do here. I don't think there's anything else we have to do. Um, that's everything in the Soda Pop house. So what level is Invincible? He's only level 12. So let's let's get him. Let's start grinding him up. Let's start grinding up. Let's try to get the Shedanja. Um, I know I said I wasn't gonna care too much about his level, and I'm still really not. But we should get him at least caught up closer, because he could be he could be pretty useful. I mean, the thing about Shedanja though, guys, is its move pool is terrible. In a competitive setting, it's not terrible. Because uh, you could make it work with the rest of your team, but from the purposes of what we're do trying to do here, it's, it's not very good. Uh, there's our first Mega Stone, which is the Alakazite, which is really cool. Can you imagine like catching an Abra and just being like, "Oh, I got a Mega Abra or Mega Alakazam." She's she's, she's selling cute dolls. I was trying to speak. What do you got here? Oh, you have TMs. What does he have? Thunder Wave Struggle Bug. Ooh, that's tempting to buy. Worth five thousand dollars. I'm gonna say it is. Let's do it. I know that might seem like a really weird purchase, because, you know, whatever, but I like this idea. Every one of my team learned Struggle Bug, too. Let's give it to Vinny. We're gonna teach Struggle Bug to Vinny. I know Bug type isn't the best attacking type, but it does get stab on all my Pokemon, and it does, uh, it does lower their special attack, and now that it's got a boost, I'm thinking to get rid of Poison Powder, but I kind of... Cause I, I feel like I'm always gonna use Sleep Powder over Poison Powder, so let's actually... I know I, I said a few episodes ago I wanted to keep Poison Powder, but... Let's do that. I kind of like that. And then we can actually, and we might as well give it to, to Invincibug. Even though Invincibug's mostly a physical attacker, um, might as well, because it really doesn't have that many good moves yet. 
So we'll just get rid of Leech Life. At least, uh, at least this thing will do a little bit more damage. And the rest of our team, I think, is fine for now. Although, I guess we could teach it to... We'll give it to Amethyst, too. The rest of the team is physical, so we won't really need it on anything else, but... Might as well just give it to Amethyst. Get rid of Harden, I suppose? Yeah, we'll get rid of Harden. Still blown away that we have a shiny Amethyst. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button for Amethyst, as I say every episode now. Uh, when Amethyst dies, and you guys don't have to hit the thumbs up button anymore. If it dies. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so let's see here, what do we got? We got this guy, this is a Pokemon fan club. Let's go, let's go, I think, let's heal up first. Before we go and do anything. And then I believe we have some stuff we can do, uh, with Team Aqua and so on and so forth. We'll see. I do have to be careful if we do face Team Aqua though with, with Invincibug because it is ground type. So it's weak to water. It's not like they really have that many water Pokemon anyway. Alright, let's go over here. So here is Team Aqua. They're all lined up here, but we can't get in there yet. So what we can do, however, is we can go over here to the, uh, the ship place. Is this the right place to go? It doesn't look like the right place to go. Hmm. I kind of forgot where we're supposed to go. I'm sure you guys can like, you guys are gonna like yell at the screen. Well, it's, I don't think it's this way. This is how you leave. I guess we can leave the route, which I don't want to do. I don't want to leave the route. I know you have to, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. I know you have to go talk to Mr. The guy, you have to talk to the sea captain. Oh, here he is. I was at the wrong building, I got confused. I didn't realize it was three buildings, so we have to go talk to this guy. <sighs> um, if this goes here, and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? And and what about, what about that doohickey? Arr, I can't make heads or tails of this. Huh? Hmm, you? Oh, sorry, I I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to dr draw up designs for a ferry. Oh, those parts you have. Th those are the Devon parts. But, hmm, this this won't do. I, I guess Captain Stern is probably off at the Oceanic Museum again. Sorry, but but could I ask you to find the captain and, and give him the parts to him? Okay. Sure thing, sir. Let's go. Onward and upward. Now I think we can go here. Is this where we go now? Oh, yeah, this is the Oceanic Museum. It's got a giant satellite on it. It's convenient. This is the most nonsensical situation. I have to pay you 50 bucks when I'm trying to save the world right now. Sigh. I don't believe anyone in uh, on the first floor does anything except for this kid. He's gonna give me Thief, I believe. Which he does! So we are gonna get the TM46 for Thief. Which doesn't really have too much utility. Actually, you know what? It's not bad because it, it could work on Redemption. It could work on Redemption because it does get boosted. It goes from 40 to 60, I believe. Base power on redemption, so there is some utility there. Oh, there's no trainers, we just really go to Captain Stern here? Okay. Hmm? Yes? If you're looking for Stern, that would be me! Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing this case all the way. Now we can prepare for our expedition at last. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Hold up a moment, we'll be taking those! Whoa, whoa, what was that? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua! Our boss wants the parts in the case, so shut your yap and fork it over! Alright, man, so we're gonna take on Team Aqua right now. A little bit worried, a little bit worried, because we are leading with Invincibug, but that's okay. He's gonna send out a Caravana, so we're gonna switch the heck out of here, because there's no reason for us to stay on a Caravana right now. No reason. But who do I switch into? This is level 16, so this thing is, like, pretty powerful. I think Vinny could come in, or True Warrior. Um, I'm thinking True Warrior is probably our best bet. We haven't used True Warrior since the gym battle against Roxanne, so we're gonna swap out Invincibug and go out into True Warrior, who is closing in on evolving into a Swadloon, which is really cool. He's going for the uh, big Aqua Jet here. I do resist, luckily, so it's a good swap there. And I can fire off a Miracle Seed boosted Razor Leaf or a Bug Bite. We're gonna go for Razor Leaf, because I don't believe it's a contact move. And that is going to knock out the Caravana with a crit, unnecessarily, but... Uh, we're gonna get, uh, some serious HP. Invincible is going to level 13. I also learned Fury Swipes, but I don't have any slots for that since I, I kinda wanna keep Harden. Although, actually, you know what? We don't need Harden because it's gonna be a shit ninja. So, it, Harden is very unuseful. Very, uh, non-useful, I suppose. Um, he's gonna... Okay, so that's it. We, we beat him. He only had a Caravana, and that's not too bad. What do you got next to me, buddy? Ugh! I got beat by a little brat! 
Oh man, what a disaster! The boss is gonna be furious! Hmm, sniveling wimp! Stand back and watch me, the 27th strongest member of Team Aqua! Take care of this kid. 27th strongest out of 28, guys. This kid, he's gonna, this guy's a beast. Sends out a Zubat, which is of course not a water type Pokemon. So that's like, he joined Team Aqua and they're like, alright man, here's a Zubat. No, they sent him into a cave full of Zubats and they're just like, Throw your Pokeball, you're gonna hit event you're gonna hit one of them eventually, right? Uh this is a this is a good job for Amethyst. This is a good job for Amethyst. Amethyst don't care about nothing right now. Shiny, Dust Ox, enter the field. Bam. There it is. There it is, looking beautiful. He's gonna go for a wing attack. But luckily we're Oh my goodness! Was that a crit? That was a crit. We're gonna switch. We're gonna switch. We're gonna switch. That was scary. That was scary. We're gonna go to Vinny now. We're gonna go with Vinny. I thought Amethyst was gonna take on this, this Zubat without a problem, but we're gonna go to Vinny because I'm not taking chances right now. I just got crit with that with that wing attack. All right, you got this. He's gonna miss the Supersonic. Perfect. Let's go for the side beam. Bam! Hit him with it. It's gonna do at least like 50%, 60%, 80%. I can take a wing attack. Is that? Oh Jesus, man! This thing's doing a lot. It's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. Watch him predict. I thought he was gonna predict and go into Caravana. That would have been like the best switch ever. Are right, we gonna take him down? No problem. Now we have a tough decision to make here. If he, I don't know what his last mon is. Or damage grows level 17 though. Wants to learn agility. I'm gonna pass that because in game I should be able to outspeed pretty much everything anyway. In comes a Caravana. Now do I want to struggle bug this thing? I don't know if that'll kill. Let's go for struggle bug. Uh, it should do a lot of damage to this thing. It does just knock it out. Wow. Struggle bugging Vinny, putting in that work, man. Keep in mind this is a. Uh, I believe a timid nature Vinny, so he's gonna be pretty fast. So. Hmm! He beat the 27th strongest grunt in Team Aqua! N -n now what? If we don't get that case, we're in for it! Uh, I never thought we'd be stopped by some meddling kid! Alright. Beep. I was about to swear. <laughs> we keep it PG here. I try to anyway. I'm not like a mate. I'm like PG 13. What do we have here? I came to see what was taking so long just to steal a few parts, and I find you Sims getting beat by this kid? Heh. <laughs> That's quite a fierce expression for such a wee little scamp. That face tells me you're not just another mindless trainer brat. The name is Archie. The rough looking lot you see here are members of my team, Team Aqua. So tell me, boyo. Do you know what Pokemon, people, and all of this world depend on for life in the sea? That's right! The sea is an irreplaceable treasure for living thing on this planet. But with our selfish extravagance, humanity dirties the great ocean, destroying the source of all life. Day by day, we're destroying the most precious resource. If we humans suffer from our actions, well, maybe we'll end up getting what we deserve. But what about the Pokemon in our world? The Pokemon that no longer have a place to live because we stole and soiled their seas. The Pokemon that won't have a place to raise their young and watch them grow. We are creating a world in which innocent Pokemon suffer as a rea result of our actions. And that is something I cannot forgive. That's why I came to a decision, see? The foolish actions of my fellow humans, the seas we have blighted, nature itself. I will turn everything to its unspoiled beginnings. Heh. <laughs> It's not like me to talk so much. Never mind, little scamp. I'll withdraw for now and leave you to be. But understand this. Get in my way again and you won't walk away unscathed next time. Remember that, at least. We're moving out, lads. Come on, boyo. All right, so there is Archie, the leader of Team Aqua, and he's a beast. So, whew, that was intense. So we're gonna give the Devon parts over to Captain Stern. This is it! I can't be standing around here! It's finally time for us to set on our Ocean Explorer expedition! Thanks for this and excuse me! I love how he doesn't even give me anything. Like, yo, I just traveled halfway across this half of the world, so like a quarter of the way across the world, to give you this little file thing. And you're just gonna not even talk to me. Hey, you look important. Do I like Pokemon? No, I don't want to tell you about myself. Leave me alone. Alright, so that's gonna be that for the sea exploration thing. I think we should heal up. Heal up our Mons. Let's actually... Let's actually go catch a Pokemon. We'll try to actually catch it this time instead of fainting it, and then we'll hatch an egg. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey! That's Lizia and Allie doing a shoot over there! Are you serious, dude? Lizia, let's go! She's totally hot! 
Oh god. Hi, and for everybody! Lizia here, me and my Alteria Alley have come to Slateport City's Contest Spectacular all for a bit of fun! Alley, Alley, Lily! Well then, watch me as I dive right in again today! Yeah! Dazzling, dizzying, doldrums defying! Dazzling, dizzling, dazzling, dizzly! She's grinding you. Lizzie's miraculous contest, Cody. Start. Scout me to be. Uh, scout me and be your next boyfriend. Yeah. Look at that booty. Alrighty. I'm gonna bring another fantastic trainer into the wild world of contesting. Eeny, meeny, miny. You there. You there! Watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi! Have you ever joined a contest? That's just what I want to hear. <sighs> then let's get this show on the road. This is the trainer I'm going to scout today. And his name is... Bug Catcher! When I took it, I could easily see that Bug Catcher is a powerful trainer. All right, I'm done with this. I don't care about this. Give me your contest pass. Give me the Pokeblock kit berry thingies. I'm out of here. I'm done with you. I'm done with you, lady. Ugh. Yo, she she's literally trying to make a move on me. Alright, bye. I'm gonna skip the contest. I'm gonna skip the contest, because I don't really care about the contest. Unless you guys really want me to send in a... Eh, should we do a contest episode? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want a contest episode. If you do, I could come back and do it. Let's go get that encounter, though. I know this episode's running a little bit over where I was aiming for time-wise, but we can grab this encounter here for the next, excuse me, route, route 110. I'll see what we're working with. It's probably gonna be like an electric type, but we'll see what it is. So, the first encounter of the route doesn't really matter because we're gonna swap it out for an egg anyway. It is an electric, which is kind of nice because we're actually sending out Invincibug. Which is what I was hoping for. That'll give us a little bit, uh, a little bit of. I don't even think you could really do anything to me. Let's. Oh, I have sand attack. I was about to be like, all right, let me use mud slap. I don't even have mud slap. I thought I had mud slap. I don't know if I deleted it, but let's go for sand attack. We'll lower his accuracy at least, and we'll go for struggle bug. Let's go for thunder wave, but you can't touch this. It's a big. Ah, eh, did a decent amount. Uh, about another one or two of those, and we should be able to catch this thing without a problem. Go for how I don't want to attack him because I don't want to get static. I don't even know if static works if you're ground type, to be perfectly honest. But we're just gonna do this. That looks like he's in catchable range. I would say that looks like he's in catchable range. Still a Pokeball at him. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see before we end the episode, because I do want to hatch one egg this episode since I kind of dropped the ball. Oh god, he just broke right out of that. He didn't he didn't want nothing to do with that. Alright, I'm a little worried. If he has quick attack, it could do a lot. I, I don't know if struggle bug is gonna. He's gonna kill it or not. Let's just throw a great ball at it now instead. It's not worth me trying to kill this. You know, it's not worth killing it because I already killed the, the Makuhita earlier. Cool. So we actually catch it. So we're gonna swap it out for a, an, a bug egg right now. I'm gonna do the random number generator nonsense. You guys know the deal. And let's see what we're gonna end up randomly generating. It is going to be 39 actually, which we've already gotten. We already got 39, so we're gonna do it again. And it's 34 now, which is Mr. Cuddles, which has come from my friend Steven, aka Soul Foxy, who sent me Mr. Cuddles. Now, what could Mr. Cuddles be? If I had to guess what Pokemon Mr. Cuddles could be, that's a tough guess. So, we're gonna go grab the egg from Soul Foxy here. Big shout out to him uh, for sending along the egg. And I. Uh, 30. What could it. Mr. Cuddles. What could Mr. Cuddles be? I wanna say Mr. Cuddles is a Pinaco, maybe? Is that something like you? I think it's like a joke name, right? It's something you wouldn't want to cuddle with. So I'm thinking of Pinaco, because it is kind of spiky. So we're going to swap this out for egg number 34, which is, uh, let's see here, 31, 2, 3, 4, I believe. Uh, 5, 6, and then this is 40. Yeah, so that's what we need. So let's swap it out. Let's grab this egg here. We're going to hatch this egg. I'm going to swap this out here. We'll just drop a few Pokemon off, and we'll grab them in a minute. But let's hatch this egg. Uh, let's. Let's do that. We're gonna hatch the egg. Uh, once I get back, then that'll be the end of the episode. So let me hatch this egg. I'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys. We are back. About to hatch the egg. Nickname Mr. Cuddles from Soul Foxy. We're gonna find out what this thing is in just a moment. I'm very excited to see what Foxy sent over. It is going to be a... Ooh! Uh, Scatterbug. Okay. All right. 
So I'm cu oh man, a scatterbug. Hmm. So we're gonna name this thing Mr. Cuddles as per the suggestion. I don't know why the nickname is Mr. Cuddles, but that's fine. We're gonna name it Mr. Cuddles as per the suggestion. I, I hope it fits. Uh, C U D D L E S, I believe. Looks like we're good. Mr. Cuddles it is. So we're gonna go take a look and see what nature this thing is. Obviously, it's gonna stay in the box for the time being, uh, and we'll make uh, we'll make some decisions later on which Pokemon we can grab if a Pokemon ever faints. So far, we're uh, we're on a, a very good streak right now. We haven't had anything faint, which is nice. But let's take a look at Mr. Cuddles really quick before we wrap things up. Uh, Mr. Cuddles is indeed hardy with compound eyes. Uh, it looks like, and it has stun spore. I don't think that's really an egg move. I think that's just like it's just a. Uh, I might be an egg move. But that's gonna be our Pokemon right there. So we got Mr. Cuddles. We have Home Wrecker, uh, Buzzkill, and of course Bullet in our in our PC so far, and lots of eggs still to hatch, of course, guys. So that's gonna be it for the episode, guys. If you've not done so yet, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. I really appreciate the support, and I will be back next episode with the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Mono Bug Egglock. My name is Dan, aka Drive, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.